Happy Halloween, my beautiful babies. My name is Nilsa, for those of you who don't know me. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. I'm the head fairy in charge. You may call me HFIC. This is, you're watching, a cute little spirit baby reading with, I don't know what this is called, a cat oracle, the spoopy tarot, and a bunch of handwritten cards. So we're going to start with the tarot. See what you need to know. Um, yes, you could be pregnant or trying to have a baby. You could also already have children right now or have lost one. Two cards fell under the desk. You have to give me intermission. <laughs> intermission. Okay. They're obviously importante. <laughs> They're important. We got them. All right. So we got those. Well, usually I get guided to start with a certain deck. And I was told to start with this one, but I kind of wanted to start with the tarot. That's why I opened it. And so those defiantly flew on the floor because my spirit guards like to get my attention if I rebel. All right. So I guess we're not starting with tarot like I wanted. <sighs> Come on, stop drunk. Okay, thanks. Ooh, that was close to the fire. All right, we have full cauldron, all you can handle, abundance overflowing. Be careful what you wish for. I've been getting that message a lot. Those of you um, who already have your hands full, let's say you already have a toddler or you already have a baby or two babies and you want to try for just that one more okay uh you can end up with twins or triplets um or god forbid something happened to the father after and now you have like four kids and you're all by yourself and it's a handful so say that you'll be given what you can handle you know like i'll i'll be given what i can handle on this journey now we have mind candy fun things to do you need to be entertained seeking a diversion dealing with boredoms. Some of you are in your head so much with anxiety and details and people will tell you not to focus. They'll say, don't focus on it right now. Don't focus on it. Meanwhile, you have no choice, some of you. Some of you have no choice but to focus on it because you are on a medication schedule. You are on these last minute scheduled doctor appointments and so it's kind of hard to not focus on something that you have to be cognizant of daily so just ignore those assholes all right so anyway watch hocus pocus or something like that creep it real be yourself tell the truth genuine feelings um don't try to be the the big boy the big girl and act like everything's cool if it's not um if you're going to your doctors and you're having pain in your ovaries or your uterus, anything like that, say something. If you're having nausea from certain medications, say something. Don't just suffer to be a big boy or a big girl for no reason. And this is all medication, whether it's like um, for anxiety, for fertility, for pain. Uh, if you're having side effects or you're having problems, say something. We have pumpkin spice, being passionate, walk on the wild side, your true colors, trying something new. I feel like this more has to do with tradition with pumpkin spice, something that comes back every year. And we have moonstruck, crazy in love, fantasy world, romantic notions. All right, so with the true colors and the romantic notions, if you've been, I'm hearing fantasizing, if you've been fantasizing about having a family with somebody that you're not currently with, I feel like this is saying like this uh, full moon we've had in Taurus is going to be helping regarding vocalizing true feelings. Now we have strange brew, weird phenomena, meeting somebody unusual or a rare opportunity. You might run into this person. Um, 
So you're either going to run into somebody that you have feelings for that you haven't that you're not currently with, but you've been wanting to have a kid with them, or you've already had a kid with them, you want another kid, you're not together. There's a lot of scenarios that, that could be participating right now. And it feels like you're there's gonna be some kind of serendipitous chance as confirmation. Go with the flow, go with the frequency of the universe, let it pull you where it needs to be. We have wrapped up, very busy, extremely focused, that's why you got the message about the distraction, like um, something that will distract you from pain or anxiety right now or what you're going through. So uh, like I said, watching marathons can help too, to be honest. I just started the Final Destination movies again, and they're so good. I forgot. I didn't forget how good they are, but they're so good. It, it's good to watch them after a long time and be wonderstruck again. I recently... Um, like last month, caught up on all of the Nightmare on Elm Streets, and I've been wanting to do Child's Play. I just watched the first one. I didn't finish the rest. But my point is you can do watch some kind of, um, watch something that's like not an anthology, something that's like continuous. That'll give you something to look forward to, some kind of routine. So we have Bewitched, Magical Connection, Falling for Someone, Full Attention. So I think um you're meant to go through this this little mental roller coaster right now where you're really focused and busy then the universe wants your frequency to like relax and be okay again um so that you're paying attention when this person comes back so that you're paying attention you're paying attention to what you're manifesting as well what words are coming out of your mouth wish on a star wish is coming true ask for what you want have faith, miracles happen. Uh, so this this is going to be a miracle baby for some of you, not because of the physicality of it, but because of um, the romantic part of it, where it could have been you weren't with this person for years and then you're with them and then you get pregnant like a month later. TMI. <laughs> I, um, I didn't know this till I was like an adult, but my mom and dad were only dating for three months um, before my mom was with my little brother. So I'm like, wow, like if something's meant to happen, it, it's, it's meant to happen where people can be together like years and not conceive. Let's see what you need to know from the spoopy tarot empress. That's the mother, that's you. Um... Some of you I'm hearing have been avoiding, for those of you who have not had kids at all, have been avoiding, because I'm hearing you don't want to jinx something. You don't, you haven't been buying any thing, anything that says mom, because you don't want to jinx it. There's you with the purple, so purple witch hats are going to be a sign for you. Purple, not pink, not black, not orange, purple, okay? Um... Some of you, this is going to happen within the next three months. So let's see, November, December, yeah, January. All right, all right, all right, all right. We have 69 came out. Oh, wow, that's actually the universal number came out. 369. 369, damn, she's fine. So six of swords is about travel. Nine of wands is... um about being like consistent and persistent and tenacious 69 is a perfect yin yang things coming into balance it's, it might have been challenging for you for some of you to balance out your hormones it might have been challenging for some of you logistically having to dri drive far for doctors or drive far to see um your romantic partner some of you um could have been in college military anything like that or you just you met online but you live far away this is to tell a story. This is to tell your story. Um, your story is gonna be inspirational for people. June and September is also important. August, June, so June, between June and September, that's very significant. This is quick movement. So if any of you get pregnant now or very soon, um, August or September could be the birth 
Yeah, we have Ace of Pentacles. It would be one baby. Some of you are, are going to be pregnant with singletons. And then we have 33. So we actually, this is funny. This is my name. No, okay. 133 spells out the name Lee, which is a family nickname of mine. All right, so we have Three of Cups and Three of Swords. Three of Cups is celebration. Three of Swords is heartache. And this is an opportunity. So for some of you that are pregnant now with triplets or could be pregnant with triplets, you're, I feel like some of you are going to have that you know decision about reduction and you're like, okay, if I don't reduce one, it can risk the other, the other embryos or other babies and they could die or it, they could all come out perfectly. Um, some of you are going to have that option. You can end up with no babies or all three or two. Some of you might have been um, pregnant with triplets and then lost them. Some of you are afraid of ultrasounds, I'm hearing, because of what the doctor can say. Here's the king of swords. All right, here's your doctor. Then we have the full moon. Um, this is also this is also like hidden things and secrets. So this feel some of you are afraid to go to that are pregnant now. Are you have this like internal fear of the ultrasounds? Like you're afraid that like when I go to the ultrasound, is there gonna be like one baby? Also with look at this eye. Here's the ace of pentacles. If you look at this eye, and the and this guy here, he had two, but now he only has one. So your fear for those, any of you that might be pregnant with twins or triplets, your fear is you're going to go to the ultrasound and now there's just going to be one. Okay, like a disappearing um, sibling there. Give me more information on this. Six of Cups, Rainbow Baby, Knight of Swords. So I feel like if you had lost um a pregnancy it's going to come back to you this is a past baby six of, of cups this is a, um a past baby and the knight of swords is, is news about it so when you it's almost like when you hear that you're pregnant for some of you something inside of you is going to say oh that's my rainbow baby thank you Ooh, capricorn energy <laughs> hold on give me more on this i hope they don't have a problem child this just landed on the bewitching card. Ten of Wands. Okay, talk to me more about this one. Talk to me about this one. All right, Seven of Cups. And then bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. So listen. I know this sounds very cliche when you hear redirection is God's protection. We have problem child. We have burden. Um, tons of different options here and it was just 1303 on the clock listen when it feels like something was taken from us like you know the opportunity to bond with that child that's now gone sometimes it was done by the universe to save the mother's life and then sometimes it was done so that the kid wouldn't be here that might have had an, a problem that we don't know about, but the universe knows, especially with the Ten of Wands here. It could have had a very painful, difficult life, um, could have had a disease, cancer, anything like that. I know my heart goes out to a lot of the mothers that have young children that, you know, like childhood cancer and all these other diseases where they're suffering and I think if the mother had the choice where the kid you know if they had a miscarriage but then the soul came back into another pregnancy that they had but this time the embryo is perfect everything's genetically perfect and now the kid's healthy if they had the opportunity they probably would choose would would choose for um a happy healthy child so even though we can suffer when we, you know, lose pregnancies and stuff, sometimes there's things going on that we don't know, that we don't see, and it was for protection. We have Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, and Five of Wands. Some of you might be hearing um, a, re a, a causation soon from a doctor. 
Like, why was this a struggle? Some of you are waiting on test results. Some of you are hearing, you, you might be hearing more about anything that was like a blockage that they can cut out. I am seeing some, some people get like things taken out. I know it's been happening to women. I know like fibroids taken out and, you know, different tissues and, and clearing blockages and stuff. So you're going to get answers very soon for those of you that have been doing, if anybody's been doing um, testing for things, as, as you're going to your gynecologist, you're going to um, a fertility specialist, anything like that, or if you've been having PCOS, because this also, for some reason, this reminds me of like, just like a bunch of eggs, a bunch of eggs. So it, it's not just like the follicles that are important. It's also the lining. Okay, so somebody here has a little boy. Um, Eddie could be significant because I'm thinking about like Eddie Munster. I forgot the little boy's name. Was it Eddie? No. It's gonna drive me nuts. But anyway, the little boy we have six of pentacles and we have temperance. So this is the right time to come and share their life with you. The right time, everything's gonna heal, they're gonna come in. I'm also hearing that this baby is going, <laughs> whoever here that's going to be pregnant with a boy within May or June, it's gonna make you a little fat and gassy. That's what I'm getting, don't shoot the messenger. A little fat and gassy um they're gonna kick a lot so you're gonna you you're gonna be a little uncomfortable but but it'll be worth it they're saying that they're a good boy they're saying they're a really good boy um but yeah your pants are you might like you know sneeze and pee on yourself it's just it's just gonna be a little uncomfortable very uncomfortable but he's worth it and yeah, he, with the Hierophant, this is his contract. He's like, it's my time. This is my time to come share my life with you. Some of them will, you might put this little boy like on social media a lot, have his own page or his own YouTube eventually where he's testing out toys. Um, yeah, it could be like an Aries or a Gemini. Heavy Aries energy. We have the Magician and we have the Chariot. Some of you, if you had a baby when you were 17 years old, this is, it's like you waited years and now you met somebody and this read, this exact message came through in another reading I did, I think for YouTube as well, where I said somebody was a teen mom and your kid's almost bit, like almost adult and you're pregnant again, you're starting over again. Um, but you love this person that you're with. So you're really excited to like have a little you and them together. Um, they're going to be your whole world now though. You have the time, money, and energy for this, your life. It's like, this is like an electron around the nucleus. Like they're going to be your whole world. Oh my God, this person here. And you might have three kids. So you might've had one when you were younger and you're going to have two more. So this one might split into two or you might have one. And then they could be Irish twins. We have another one here okay we have to get to those you're absolutely right queen of cups you oh my god they're gonna be your whole world you're gonna you're gonna love this baby oh my god oh my god and if you didn't have whoa come back if you didn't have a baby when you're 17 but you you do have a 17 year old right now that could be the age difference or um your other kid's birthday is on the 17th of a, a date we have a pumpkin oh thanks good talk Somebody here listens to Selena songs. Are you listening to Selena songs with your mom? Oh, remembering the details. Okay. So I think, I feel like this is remembering the details of certain readings you're watching. Not even personal ones you're getting, just ones that you're watching where you're like, hmm, that's, that's important. Visualize, visualize doing little things that you want with the baby, being outside around um, the leaves. Divine timing, yes. 
Yes, some of you will have October oh, timing again. Yes, some of you will have October babies. It could even be the October 17th where we got the 17th from. I want a Virgo baby. I'm trying to put that out there. I used to always get in my personal readings like Leo, 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 always. But let me tell you something. Um, so I'm watching this show. I'll probably talk about this in all my readings because it's so accurate. I'm watching this show. Oh, God, what is it called? Oh, my God, what is the show called? It's the one with Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and he plays the founder of Uber. And I looked him up, and he is a Leo. And, oh, my God. If you if you ever wondered what a Leo is like, like a true, true to the T Leo, watch this show. The way he's like, he literally says, when I walk into a meeting, everyone should come in and clap. I'm an honorary Leo slash Scorpio. Um, and, he, and there's this one part where he has like a dinner meeting. He's at this awards thing or something or some dinner. And he brings his girlfriend as a plus one. And the other gentleman from Google that he's supposed to like be talking to just keeps talking to his girlfriend and flirting with his girlfriend. And when they get back to the room, he's like, I'm not bringing you to any more events because the focus needs to be on me, not you. They do not share the spotlight. They do not want co-stars, okay? They are unyielding. Is that a word? It is today if it's not, all right? They are unyielding. And if you have other other kids that are not Leos, they're gonna be like fighting for attention. They don't know how to be happy for other people almost, like to share attention. And they're not all like this, like literally 99% of my friends are Leos. But if they are exactly like, ex like textbook Leo, it's gonna be very like the them show. And I would rather have someone that can work a little better with other people. And I mean, if it happens, it happens, but at least I know what I would be going in for. But the good thing about Virgo babies and Virgos in general is that we're very predictable. Okay, like we like what we like, we have our routines and I feel like it would be very easy to parent of Virgo because they like, like I said, they like their routines, they know what they like, and then they'll probably like to play with the same toys. And you know what I mean? You can get them in a good nighttime routine. And then not that it's easy. Parenting is not easy, but we other Virgos thrive on patterns. We notice patterns and predictability. So I would value that. I would highly value that in a child make my life easier. <laughs> anyway, anyway time, going back to timing. Going back to timing. But I mean, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind a Leo, I wouldn't mind a Scorpio or a Libra or a Virgo, as long as they're healthy, but if I have to choose. When you witness a blessing, you're next. This is one of my favorite sayings, especially with the law of attraction, you're manifesting something. Look at this, new ways to make income. If some of you have been wanting new income and you see other people announcing ways that they're making income, it's a green light for you, okay? Especially those of you who are saving for treatments, fertility treatments, are um, they get more expensive. There's a lot of surprise costs. And then when they quote you things, they don't quote you the transfer cost, and it's every single time they transfer it, it's like $6,000, so fun. So be aware of that. So new ways to make income. And then we have, it's very close, it's very close. And then we have cherry picking. Cherry picking is when you are choosing what you wanna see, the best things, and ignoring everything else. So you can choose all the good things, look at me preaching to myself, you can choose all the good things about a perspective or choose all the bad things so here's an example i was just like shitting on leo boys and girls um so i can either choose to focus on all their shitty qualities or i can choose to focus i can cherry pick 
they're good qualities. Um, like they can advocate, use their power for good. They can use their power for ad to advocate for other people while they have their attention and they love fashion and all that good stuff. So there's good things too, okay? We have candy, we have family fun day. There's trick or treating, trick or treating. Yep, here's a little boy, the lollipop barrel. We have parent trauma. So some of you might have bad memories tied to Halloween and you're gonna start new traditions and new fun stuff with your kids. Your spirit guides have been trying to reach you. Autumn candle, oh my God, guys. I sell autumn candles, go get one, go get one. Autumn candles, and then mending bridges and the new moon. So we got a card about the full moon. Now we're getting a card about the new moon and mending bridges. So, your spirit guides have been trying to get through to you to forgive somebody. Maybe I'll forgive you. Maybe I'll forget. I don't know if those are the words. We have going to a farm. Get a reading. <laughs> Thank you. Arigato, merci, gracias. Couples costume, Halloween party. Shift your energy relax okay so some of you could be watching that movie trick or treat you could be um watching a nice halloween movie practical magic halloween town hocus pocus hocus pocus i'm doing a hocus focus reading next so stay tuned for that one all right i think that's that's a good amount of messages it's like 25 minutes it's supposed to be 10 but i don't stop talking you're welcome can I see that you're welcome? All right, subscribe if you like this video so you get notified when I make more. I just like binge record. So you you might not see me for like a week or two and then you'll get like four readings. So you can binge watch me later. <laughs> All right, I'll see you real soon.